Welcome to Wake Up America. And I have with me today Tim and Kasha Ellison. And I'm just thrilled to have you with me today. Um, I actually met you all um, at a singing at the Civic Center. And, uh, you know, I've always liked Michael Combs. And uh, I know I probably could never get him on the show, but you're, you're just as good, let me tell you, because well, you, you sound so much like him. I'm telling you, you couldn't hardly tell the difference. That's what we tell him all the time. Yeah. And, uh, I just, I just love to hear the, hear you sing, and uh, you're going to sing us a song too. And uh, I just wonder, how has God led you to do this, and uh, how's He working in your life right now? Well, actually, we went out and we saw Michael Combs in concert a couple of times. And if you ever go see him in concert, you're automatically hooked on the spirit of God that you see coming from the man. And we actually went to a couple of concerts. Actually, first we heard him uh, at the Bible Bookstore. And we listened to one of his CDs, and we got hooked on it there. And then we went to a concert where we saw him at, and the people were just jumping up and down when we came in, and we were just amazed. And there was something about the man that just struck me. I felt an instant connection to the man whenever I first saw him. And it... I started going out to churches, and I started singing. I got my ministry going. Uh, my wife joined but in later. But you hadn't even been singing until then? I had not sung never. at all. Even when you was young, did no, you sing? No, never had you are sung. Kidding me. I had never <laughs> sung up until just about five or six years ago, maybe seven yeah. years now. And I, I started listening. I was working for DirecTV and Dish Network, and I had a lot of travel time in between jobs, and I had in my truck his CDs, and yeah, I would listen started. to them. And I started singing along, and then I went and got the soundtrack. So I started singing along on the soundtrack, and eventually was led to get up in the churches. See, it was really hard for me to get up in the churches because you can ask her. I was really shy. I couldn't oh, me get too. Up in That's how of, I, I, I'm You know, I would like get up, and my heart would start pounding, and I couldn't <laughs> even hardly speak. I can't believe I'm actually going to be on TV and not even worried now. <laughs> that's what the Lord will do. He'll take away anything that's kind of restricting you from doing his work. Right. But uh, now we get up, we go out, we sing, we do the Lord's work. But I thank God for the man that actually stood up and encourage me to be able to stand up for God. And that's what I want to do. I want to be a light for someone else and encourage someone else to stand up for God. And we all should be the encourager for someone else because there's times in people's ministries or in their lives even to where they don't have the courage to go on another day. And it takes another Christian like you, me, or her to stand up for that person and say, hey, come on, let's go another step. Right. I mean, we all have moments where, you know, we need somebody that's going to pray for us and encourage us, don't we? Yes. Uh, now, how, have you sung when you was little? Did you sing? I have. I sung with my mom and dad in church when I was little, up to I was about 10 or 11. Then I hit my teenage years, started doing this and that, and then we got back in church when me and him got together. He started singing first because I hadn't sung in a while, and then I got to seeing him sing and how much joy he got out of it, and it just got back in my heart to want to sing again. And so. actually, y'all can sing together. You're not going to do that today, right. but I mean, and I think that's wonderful right. that anybody can, you know, sing together like mm -hmm. that and mm -hmm. minister to people. But um, this song that we're, you know, I just love that song, American <laughs> Christian, mm -hmm. and uh, you sing it so much like him, but... Um, what does that mean to you? What does that song, American Christian, mean to you? To see the symbolism of the flag and to go back to our roots uh, as a God-fearing nation, you know, and without God in this country, we're just nothing but slaves. And if we want God's um, blessing on our nation, we need to go back to what the founding fathers done for this nation. And what they done was they wrote a doctrine uh, that actually put God in there and said God is the first thing that we need to add into our doctrine here to make this nation great and that's what they believed in and that's what we need to go back to. I feel that same way and you know not everybody's a Christian but I mean if they could see that in us just like you saw that in Michael Combs that's you know right. what I'm saying yeah. if they could portray, you know see that in us and it would reflect off of us into them yeah. I mean then they would know you know that they needed that exactly. because a lot of people don't really realize what Jesus can do for them and how he can change you and people on drugs you know we've got so many people on drugs and alcohol that um it just i mean it could just change the world exactly. you know Amen. he can change the world mm -hmm. but